Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of a absolutely pogged decompression podcast. As I said, here we are once again another month later, giving y'all an update on stuff, things, life, and other things. Here we are, you know, stuff is finally happening, uh, school is done, lads, that'll be my first topic for today. I finally finished my associates, graduated from community college, and hopefully I'm going to be getting that stuff wrapped up and getting my quirky little paper next week. Let's fucking go. Um, But despite that, I do have a little bit of a story to tell with that. So... In reality, though, I I really was hoping to get it done in June, and that's just because I wanted it done sooner rather than later, you know, and the fact is, is that I found this out only a handful of days ago, but there's some bullshit about, like, professors aren't contractually obligated to do what they're supposed to do during the summer quarter or something, and then they, like, don't even quote-unquote have to check their emails, which I find to be, like, total bullshit, because there must be students, you know, other students in my sort of position where, like, you know, they finish with only, like, four more credits, but they can, uh, like, necessary to graduate, and they, you know, come back with a, you know, like, a test score or something showing that they can, like, test out of the course and that kind of thing. I can't be in that small of a minority for that kind of thing. Like, I I find that totally bullshit, in all honesty. And just the mere fact that, you know, it took so long, you know, it does suck. Um, Nothing's, like, crazy wrong with it, I I guess I can say. It's just, like, you know, all he needed to do was email me a fucking, like, template paper thing to print out. And then I'm just going to have to end up taking it somewhere else, not even to the guy. So that sucks. But, you know, I'm used to this bullshit by now. You know, I've been, you know, almost like, I'm, I want to say almost three years or whatever at this place. And like, you know, I should just expect it at this point. You know, they're they're giving me one last fucking kick out the door on my way out. You know, really, really fucking rubbing it in there. You know, just the fact that they're being late with this stuff, just, you know, one was one thing that kind of peeved me, although I'm still personally pogged and all, I would say that, you know, that certainly left a sour taste in my mouth on the way out, so, we'll see, I've already applied for a job, waiting to hear back on that, but don't you guys worry one little bit, you know, nothing uh, no, no progress has been impeded quite yet, and I'd say I'm in a kind of a bit of a lull, a bit of a downtime, really, until things start to happen again. Uh, I would say that I'm fairly optimistic for me to get the job I applied for. Uh, I got past the first couple of steps, and the job itself is up my alley and kind of in regards to the degree that I got and the education I received. So I'm pretty excited for that. Potential to work from home, that would be awesome. And yeah, I guess that's what's up with that stuff. So, another reason to celebrate things happening, things changing, things evolving, some might say. Things, you know, being better, being cool, etc., etc. Last time on the Decompression on Cast, I talked about how one of my old videos was kind of hitting the algorithm, kind of blowing up just a little bit. And obviously, I'm still thankful for that. Pretty awesome, pretty lucky, kind of random in some ways. And, you know, I'm really appreciative for that. Like, it's still kind of in there, you know, it's still kind of blowing up, but. The funny thing is about that is that last time on the decompression cast, I was like, yo, uh, I don't even remember the exact number. I was like, yo, it's, it's hit like a couple thousand views. Yo, thank, like, thanks. Now, 
July 3rd, 2021. It's like, it's got like 45,000 views or some shit, which is just fucking insane to me at least. And the mere fact that, you know, for that video blowing up to, you know, whether, whether it be real people or not, uh, you know, this, you guys can tell, you know, you're watching this video, you're watching the channel. The sub count was popping off, boys, let's just say. And, you know, I just want to give another massive thanks and, uh, and you know, shout out to that video. I'll activate the magic of Powerbond for just fucking hitting the, hitting a fucking, hitting a stride, I guess. And, you know, that's another thing that just kind of keeps me, uh, you know, optimistic and uh, gives me some hopium. Gives me some inspiration, some motivation, really, to, you know, post more content, really. You know, because even if something doesn't do good, you know, when you release it or whatever, you know, you can just get lucky someday, have the algorithm hit a video, and fucking bada bing, bada boom. You know, you fucking crazy stuff happens, man. The world is an interesting place, you know. Fucking random bullshit happens all the time. So, yeah, that's what I had to say on that. Another thing that kind of ties into what I was just saying was my personal goals and the bloomer mentality. I would say that, you know, me finishing school has absolutely motivated me personally to just be working on things um you know be more active you know be better you know always keep kind of iterating and evolving upon yourself every day you know be a better person than you were the day before that kind of stuff more motivating now than ever you know more applicable now than ever now that i have significantly more free time it's just something that you know, a message that, <clears throat> excuse me, I enjoy, uh, you know, more and more as time goes on. And, you know, I'm looking forward to the future. You know, once again, I I would say that something, this is something that maybe was somewhat missing, perhaps from the last, gee, I don't even know, two, three, four, five maybe five decompressions, maybe, you know, it initially started as something to, you know, for me to give updates, but, you know, for me to relax, for me to just talk about stuff, I mean, that's kind of how it's been, you know, talk about things I enjoy, things I, I like to do, and, you know, it helps for me to just kind of get my thoughts out there overall, and one thing that helps with that kind of thing, at least lately for me, is you know, helping with a lot of this stuff is writing down what you want to do. You know, for me, that happens to be a rather large list just in the notes app on my phone. And I would say that that is something that has been extremely, extremely useful to me. Just write down what I want to do. You know, even if I don't get to it, you know, immediately for a few weeks, for a few months, even. This is just a general list of goals, things I want to do, things that could happen this week, things that could happen next week, things that could happen, you know, after I get a job, let's just say, for example, and things that can only happen, uh, you know, when I acquire more money and that kind of thing. And, you know, the, the bloomer mentality has uh, really suited me and aided me right now. I would say that, you know, once again, in, in the past, it was probably something that I acquired, but, you know, I might have lost a little bit along the way here. And now I feel, I feel a lot better, I would say, you know. It's kind of like I just said, you know, post-graduation, I, I would be a lot happier, be in a lot better of a mindset, you know, be a lot more focused, you know, be a lot more, I, I, I guess be is rather the wrong term. I would say have a little more personal responsibility, certainly something I'm 
doing better on now, I would say. Still need to do some things in that general sense, but you know, I'm I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better about life, about stuff and things, feeling healthier. And I would say, as funny as it is, as much of a Sean meme as it is, I got Huel with me. I got Huel with me right now. I've got some graduation Huel, uh, spending some of the last of my probably available funds to just snag some more Huel because, you know, I want to stay um, well, what is it? I don't want to say nutritioned. That's I feel like that's not the word for it, but like you should be picking up what I'm putting down, assuming you know what Huel is after all, and I hope you do. Based. So, what else, lads? What else am I excited about? What else am I happy about? What am I looking forward to? I would say that once again, I'm looking forward to Smite. The future of Smite is about to change rather largely, I would say, in my opinion, because they are taking out boots, one of the key items in Smite. Boots are considered your early power spike item. You know, the first item that you buy for essentially all characters, more or less, unless you're like, Playing ADC and you're stacking first. But boots. Boots on all characters are just about to be taken out of the game in like a week or two. And to me, that is awesome. That is such a like revolutionary step for the game. You know, removing boots. And what they're doing is, in place of the movement speed that you get from boots... You will instead get them from levels over time on all characters. And what this does for the game, I'll just explain to you right now, is like, it basically shakes up and diversifies every single character's build across the entire board. Right? Because think, you like, Boots is always the, almost always the first item you build on every character. With that out of the game, that just throws like a big wrench into everything. You know, you can man, excuse me. You can build anything as your first item. And to me that that's just insane. That gives so many buffs to so many characters. That that can just change everything. And in addition with the upcoming balance changes of various kinds, that just interests me so much. And I'll be honest with you guys too. Another thing that was highly interesting to me, Hades. Hades buffs seemed kind of bussin', if I'm being honest. And because of that, and because of the boots change too, in addition with his individual balance changes, I might be a Hades main in the next patch again, once again, because I, even before this upcoming patch, I was playing Hades. Hades is a diamond god I've had for a long, long time. Probably, I would say, my second best character right now, in all honesty, behind Scylla, obviously. So, these things might not be obvious uh, if you don't know about Smite, basically, but I've always had a problem with Hades when playing him, too. When I did my recent sort of build theory crafting stuff, was I always wanted to fit in just one more item, right? I always wanted to fit in just one more thing, right, without boots. And the thing about that now, once boots are removed, is that basically anything goes. You know, I can do the Hades build that I want now, that I initially, you know, wanted to and felt like I just needed a little more space in. And that is something that excites me greatly just for, for every character, man. Every character, man, you can th you can now fit on Gem of Isos on the mages, maybe, that, you know, you weren't really building it for before. You can fit in your Soul Reavers, you can fit in, you know, additional lifesteal items, you can fit in 
Oh, jeez, you know, you can diversify the build so much. You you could go Chronos Pendant, fucking first item. You can go Rotted to Hootie first item. If you're playing Scylla, that would probably be, a, uh, probably be a good idea. You know, Spear of, you could go Spear of Deso first. You could go, you could just rush Soul Gem. You could go fucking Spear of the Magus first, depending on who you're playing. The options are absolutely huge, and I only just described some for mages right there, too. I mean, hell, warriors, you know, you could rush, rush mystical male first. You could rush fucking, I don't know, sledge is some, is an item I've been seeing rushed in the solo lane in regards to warriors and stuff. Hunters. Hunters can better rush their stacking items. At least, like, in a more focused sense. They don't have to build boots right after their stacking item. Hunters can go into any form of attack speed right away. And, unfortunately, they cannot use Berserker Shield anymore. Which kind of sucks. And that was theorized to be a, a starter item. But, like, you know, Hunters can rush Ikval now. You know, they could rush fucking Atalanta's bow. They could rush all these other items. Oboe. And, you know, those kind of things. Aussie, Executioner Kin size. The build diversity for every single character in this game has just gone insanely up. Like, I, like I have to reiterate that. That, like, every single build for every single character can just be completely different now. Junglers. Junglers, uh, they're, they're going to be so good now. Like, Mercury doesn't need to build boots anymore. He just gets the passive fucking movement speed. Oh, my God. Well, what's he going to fucking build now? He's just, he's just going to, like, ru he can just rush crit. Or just, like, more penetration in the build or some shit. Fucking Titan's Bane or, or Crusher. Or if they have anti-heal, you just go Brawlers. You could fit, you know, like, another, like, Wind Demon in there. You, you'd fit a fucking Shadow Steel Shuriken in there. and you know, you could fucking literally play, I mean, I know people already do, but, like, you know, playing Mercury, like a fucking melee ADC, essentially, like a melee carry, holy shit, what, like, jungle, jungle is gonna be insane, like, people, what are people gonna do now, are they, are they gonna rush, like, Jotun's Wraths, or Titan's Banes, Crushers, maybe, um, you know, Stone Cutting Swords, that's totally possible for most Excuse me, most assassins and holy shit, man! Holy fucking shit! Mids, ADCs, supports, everyone. Oh my god, supports! Supports can they can rush Gauntlet of Thebes now? They can rush Sav. They can rush Heartward Amulet. They can they can fucking they can fit Emperor's armor into their builds better. They can fit fucking tyrannical plate helm into their builds better, especially like Ares and shit. You know, you, you can fit Void Stones into your build. You could fit, you know, so many good items can now just be in your build. And it's fucking nutty. It's absolutely amazing. And this is such a, a ballsy, risky, but good move for Smite going forward, at least in my opinion. No more boots. Absolutely a great idea. You know, whoever fucking thought of it, came up with it, absolutely Kino, at, like, shout outs to them, good idea, you know, Smite's about to be fucking shaken up, boys, I would say, it's gonna be fucking Kino, and, uh, hopefully there, there'll be a few more gods really soon, I know, um, there's some good theories out there for what the next few gods are looking forward to it i would say uh, i want to see i want to see in particular what they do with one certain god but they're uh they're, let's just say they're tangentially related to Scylla. so i'm interested to see what they do if they keep it more um i want to say faithful and uh, make that god maybe a little more monster like or if they go um which is the route I prefer. I want them, you know, to to make a fucking uh, a little girl because that'd be funny. Okay, but probably not. I don't really know how that specific god slash character is like interpreted. I guess I could do research on that, but obviously, I'm not really gonna do that right now.
unless. All right, let's do some quick, uh, funny decompression Googling, because that was a bit in the last episode. Hey, yeah, let's see here. This is looking mostly like a monster, so I want to say that I am somewhat doubtful that this will just end up being a little girl and or woman and or generic man. Let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of doubtful right now. Looks like the uh, the interpretation here is a little more monster-like. Not really seeing any humans. Okay, but that being said, let's just move on. I'm kind of speeding through here, but that's just how it be. I wouldn't say that a crazy amount of things happened between now and then. Like, obviously, yes, I, like, finished school, air quotes, currently, and, um, you know, obviously I've been kind of hitting the grindstone a little bit, I would say. I would say that, uh, you know, I've been busy. I've been working, believe it or not. Uh, as much as it might not seem as if I am, I actually indeed am. I am working pretty hard. And here's what I would say to any of you guys. I'm I'm ripping this one off pretty quick. But I will say this. Look forward to, um, I mean, always look forward to the next decompression, if you're cool. However, uh, not the next one, but the one after that. I think, I think I'm going to do a little something for that one. So look forward to, what was I believe, August. August decompression. And I would say that, you know, in a general sense, uh, look forward to other things, maybe, as well. Soon TM, if you know what I mean. But yeah, looks like I blew it, lads. I blew through all slash most of my topic points. However, I avoided one thing. Because typically, it's saved for last typically, I would say. But that is being what I was just alluding to. Lecture update progress. I am glad to report to all of you right now that a lot... A lot, a lot, a lot of progress has been made on the lecture. I would say that last time I was slacking probably to the extreme, more to the extreme margins, I would say. I think I said in the last episode that I hadn't worked on it for like the last two months or something. But that has absolutely gone out the window this month. I have worked tons, tons and tons and tons on it. And I will just tell you guys where it's at right now. On screen, you will see it right now. It will be a screenshot. You will notice lots and lots of progress, lots of things done on it immediately. First things first. Things are now color-coded. That made editing a lot easier, a lot quicker. And uh, it, it helped me remember whose shit was whose, since they are now all different colors. Right. Now, I know that's kind of a meme, that's kind of a meme progress, but, like, you'll see it on the screenshot, too. I'm happy to report to you guys as well. Basically, all audio editing is done. All, you know, I would say that, you know, the audio for the lecture is probably final for now, I would say. Obviously, I'm going to give it some uh, last-minute tests Probably going to do a test upload and that kind of thing later on. But I would say that all audio-based lecture stuff is done. Very happy to report that to you guys. You know, something I finished recently, uh, within the last probably week or so. And I do have some stuff to say about that, too. And that's, and that's basically this. So, there was uh, something I discovered, basically that um, it, it might have, honestly, there, there is one slight issue with it. It did fuck with one person's audio, Simon, uh, just a little bit, uh, but I think it's okay. But basically, 
I discovered a new like process really that allowed me to kind of expedite the audio editing, uh, make it a lot faster, a lot more seamless, and a lot less intense. And basically, that was just me finally discovering um, kind of how to like appropriately noise gate people's audio in Premiere. Because before, I wasn't like I wasn't really familiar with that kind of effect and that kind of kind of editing. And, you know, now uh, doing that stuff, it kind of expedited the process on everyone else's audio. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I went through just one person's entire audio cutting everything out, right? And I would say that that process was a little too trad retard. And after doing it just once, I knew that I didn't want to do this again. And I know, and keep in mind too, I also chose Cetal's audio for this. One of the worst options to start with, uh, as is self-evident, really, if you know about uh, Cetal's audio. And despite that, uh, it did kind of motivate me in a way to find out how to do it faster for everyone else's because I didn't want it to put in the same work on everyone else's audio as I did Cetal's. And you'll see what I mean in the screenshot, too. And the fact that Cetal's like track is like almost uncolored because I literally edited the entire thing and you know that just simply took too long when I was messing around with it uh, you know other people's audio and, and effects and and stuff I I finally just it kind of just snapped like I should just figure out how to do the noise gate thing and that will probably save me a lot of hassle and it did and it did and I'm kind of going through like another rewatch slash like edit process of the lecture to make sure that like it, it all sounds good I'm like a decent amount in and it sounds good so far but you know in addition I'm, I'm also doing like the actual visual editing along the way as well so I'm kind of taking my time because this may in fact be like one of the if not the last once overs uh, of the entire thing. So yeah, I'm very happy to report to you guys on that stuff. Uh, additional things. Uh, time, uh, like I said last episode, time coding was completely stopped because that was a really dumb thing of me to start at the time because doing visual editing and stuff, uh, adding things in, literally adding in any single clip will shift all your markers in Premiere uh, off of that amount when you insert that clip however long it is all of your markers past that clip uh, will just be off you know by that amount so time coding was a uh, a fool's errand at the time uh, it's still something that i believe i will do uh, once i have the video finished uh, ready and edited i would say and yeah, it, you know, soon TM, lads, soon TM, we're almost there. Um, you know, hold, keep on holding on, I would say. And another thing I want to remind you guys of and keep you all updated on is the fact that uh, this lecture will be done very soon, you know, like I've been saying. And I want you all to remember that, uh, you know, as unfortunate or maybe, you know, fortunate as it may be, um, I will be releasing one very specific special video before the lecture, before I can even release it, before I can even release the lecture, right? And I just want you all to remember that that is something I stated, uh, last episode, if you, just in case you missed it, you know? Um, I'm basically kind of making two more videos at the same time. And at least one of them has to come out pre-lecture, and you guys will understand why when the time comes. But that being said, when that video will come out just whenever it does, whenever it's ready. And then it's actually, like I said multiple episodes ago, probably that next Friday uh, after that video is when a lecture will come out. So I would say, 
decent chance the lecture is done by the next decompression. Um, you know, no promises, obviously. Optimistic for a, uh, a July release. Uh, a July release. Seems to be decent, I would say, lads. Seems to be decent. Uh, depends on a couple factors. Uh, how much time I put into it. Uh, how artistically I want to edit the other videos. Uh, if I get a job between now and then. Uh, like I said, I applied for somewhere. But I've, uh, I'm going through the processes. And I've yet to hear uh, from that for now. But I did let them know that I don't want to start working right away. I would like to be given a few weeks before I start, perhaps. And uh, yeah. That will be the time, my friends. That will be the time. Well, now is the time, really, to do this stuff. You know, to finish this shit up. To fucking break through. To finish this video. To, to get it all out there. And, uh, and release the big coom. Release the kraken, some might say. And, yeah, that's basically... Actually, no, there's a few more things. Okay. The lecture still is um, still needs commissions. I'm still working on that. Um, I would say that a little low on funds right now for obvious reasons. And yeah, I would say that uh, a lot of commissions have been finished. I've reminded uh, I've reminded some individuals uh, that. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated if they could get back to me and uh, finish it soon. Those individuals, if you want to go bully them, which would be funny and epic, uh, Simid, Kajoro, and maybe Shinny, Sitol, did theirs quick. That was pretty based. I'm sorry if I misgendered earlier. I don't think I did, but they them, by the way. Sitol, they them. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, Paid paid commissions are basically all. I'm I'm all out right now. I'm, I'm I'm I can't I can't I can't really do anymore. Uh, a lot of people are the, the people that I want really are out of my price range now, at least currently. So that's another reason to uh, go get a job, though. I guess is uh, if I could get some quick commissions done. You know, if not, it's no big deal. Uh, I can always uh, task. Some individuals, some some good friends with them, some of them maybe, and then uh, pay them back later if they'd like to. Uh, I know that I would like to personally, even if I didn't pay um, some of, some of my friends just because it was, you know, favors from them, you know, for e either for other things or for other reasons. I would like to pay them back eventually, because I feel like that's only fair, you know, even. Even if they may disagree, I really have the Ben Saint uh, mindset in that regard, in the fact that, you know, they um, they did they did work, you know, they did work, and I I want to compensate them. You know, I feel like it's only fair if I do so. Uh, I hope that if any of you individuals who fall into that category are listening, um, give me some time, you know, and I'll I'll try to get back to you. Or if you disagree. Or if you out, if you refuse, just let me know privately. I guess. Um, otherwise, that's how commissions are going. Um, I will probably hit up guests soon. TM. I don't even know if I want to do that anymore. Fucking, we'll see. You know, the people, people who I want to ask might, you know, be a little too, too big for me. Let's just say. You know, I always thought that. I think I've said that before. But, yeah, so timetable's looking good. Soon TM, I'd say, in the next next month, maybe two, if I'm really, you know, if I'm slacking or if I get a job sooner, uh, I would say that would certainly delay things. But that being said, we're almost done, lads. We're almost done. We're almost there. And I just want to say thanks. Thanks again. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all the likes. All the comments, all the subs, you know, uh, old video blowing up. Let's fucking go. Optimistic for the future, lads. Keep evolving. Keep breaking through. 
like a drill, keep advancing every turn, you know how to be, you know how to do. Subscribe and shit. Thanks. I'll see you next time on the Decompression Cast. Bye.